Practicing your bike handling skills isn't just something that 10 year old boys do to show off. <laughs> it can actually make real improvements to your day to day riding, both speed and safety. So, here are five things you can practice that will make you a better rider. Going no handed is a useful skill in itself and really helps your bike handling. Now, the best way to start is to go one handed. And if you can do this, it means you can drink and, of course, eat properly. Now, although going no handed might not let you do too much extra, apart from perhaps a two arm victory salute, unless, of course, you're Dan Lloyd, when it could be just getting out a rain cape. But what riding no handed will help you do is develop good balance and a real good feel for the bike. Now, slightly strange sounding one, this one. Most of us, after all, can ride in a relatively straight line. But can you actually ride in a straight line? Certainly a skill worth practicing. Find a white line down the end of the road and try and ride along it without veering off. The faster you go, the easier it is. So as you get better at it, slow down and really, really hone your sense of balance. It's an incredibly useful skill to have. You'll find it pays dividends in riding in a group or indeed just riding in traffic. You also take it to another level by looking behind you whilst riding in a straight line. This is a really, really crucial skill and it'll help to keep you much safer, both you and the people around you. Cars back. Even if you're not riding along a white line, simply riding very, very slowly indeed is a good way to improve your balance and bike handling ability. So just practice riding at say one or two miles an hour, just very, very slowly indeed. Now, if you get good at this, it will really improve your confidence in slow speed situations, particularly in traffic. But also this skill translates to when you're going fast because it gives you a heightened sense of balance. Another skill that's going to impress kids around the world is actually really, really important to have as part of your bike handling repertoire. Now we've got detailed videos showing you how to do this, but in essence, it's really, really important to be able to bunny hop over potholes in the road in an emergency, over speed bumps, or even onto curbs. Of course, that's illegal, but it might be something that one day will save your life. Now, bunny hopping isn't gonna damage your bike, not if you do it correctly. After all, landing from just a few inches high is probably actually less stress on your bike than hitting the pothole itself. Now, we wouldn't suggest that you go out and practice whilst riding in a group, but if you're out on your own and you see a little pothole, why not just start by popping a little bunny hop over it? It might be one day a skill that you really, really rely on. Skidding a road bike is not something you ever want to be in a position to do, but being able to handle it if necessary is a great skill to have. Practice on grass so that you don't trash your bike and play around with how it feels to slide the back end by pulling your back brake on. Next, you can try ending the slide by releasing your back brake to see how the tyre will try to regain traction. If you rode a lot as a kid, this will probably feel like second nature. But if you didn't, you'll soon see the need to practice a bit. As you get close, about a metre away, compress your arms down and then immediately lift up and back, raising the front wheel up over the obstacle. Now repeat this tons of times, just get comfortable 